Well, the, uh, the, the fall of 2008 was when the U.S. economy and the global economy went into a spin and there was a direct relationship into the turf grass demand in the spring of 2009. A significant drop in demand and spring of 10 uh, was better but not all the way back to what it was in spring of 08. This spring's looking pretty good. The, the issue is just when the prices are going to come back because what happened was when the demand when the demand fell and there's a huge supply and and then the prices all dropped because of essentially the commodity nature of the turf grass business in spite of the fact that it's proprietary based in, right. in the professional markets. Um, so I'd like to say the demand is um, more or less back. We'll see whether the pricing can get back. But there's some, I think the press used the term fragile recovery, and I think that's very appropriate for what's happening in the professional turf grass industry. We'll see. There's some blips, uh, like a few months ago, reading like U.S. housing starts the second lowest in recent years that creates some concern. Um, but there's no one sector that's the professional turf grass sector, consumer turf grass sector. It's pretty diversified, so we'll see whether or not it can rebound. On the forage crop side, um, there wasn't really a recession for us. I think it speaks to the strength of the Canadian banking system and also our, um, our systems of supply management. Um, a lot of our clients are dairy-based, covered by the milk marketing board, and um, it's remained stable. The supply of milks remains stable, consumption of milks remains stable, and the people that are suppliers into that sector have stayed relatively stable as well, including Pixie through those years.